Welcome back to the program. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I hope I'm not coming on too strong. And now the news. Word out of Camp Golf is that many NCR Rangers can expect redeployment in the near future. One anonymous soldier said it was part of a new strategy. One more story for you. Unconfirmed reports say NCR's General Lee Oliver may have uprooted from his post at Camp McCarran in order to be present at Hoover Dam. NCR sources say that holding the dam against Caesar's Legion has become their main strategic priority, and this move would not be unexpected. Those are our stories for this hour. Well, it's good to see that things are starting to look up for the NCR. little help from me back in Camp Golf. But, enough toot my own horn. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here. Welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time we did pretty much everything there is to do here in Freeside. Basically, we helped the Kings establish a little bit more order than there was before. And so, people in Freeside's reputation for me seems to have improved. I am now accepted by the people. I think after this I'll be idolized, or that may be a later down the line, but eh, who knows. Anyways, in this part, we're going to be heading off to the New Vegas Strip after one last quest, and that is High Times, because if you remember, I promised Julie I would do the stuff and help her people get off the chems, and hey, you're the one hello, the random on king, thank here, you right? for interrupting me. King says to keep up the good work, he said to give you this. An iguana on a stick. Wow, I'll put it to good use. Anyways, let's get started on high times because I want to get this out of the way so I can finally get out of Freeside because I'm sure everyone has gotten sick of free seeing Freeside about now. I almost said free and seaside. So, hello, Jacob. You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. You look pretty bad. You should probably stop using those chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Really? Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. But my damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Goodbye. That's probably the best way to get out of a conversation, just... Awkward moment comes up, all of a sudden just shout, GOODBYE! Alright, so let's go talk to Dixon, who is right here. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Hmm. Do you know anything about Bill or Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Well, guess what? I need you to stop supplying them. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. So the NCR is supplying you with cheap chems to keep Freeside down? Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. So, what you Happy selling? Work, baby. I like how I immediately tell him, hey, you shouldn't be selling chems. So what kind of chems do you have? Alright, well, he's got some buff out. Eh, nah. Dixon's Jet, Whiskey. I don't know what's so good about it, just the fact that it has his name on them. Uh, Fixer, which is actually pretty useful. You can just take, the, buy three things of, or two things of Fixer in this case. Take them to Julian the Mormon Fort, and basically you can just get cheap Followers of the Apocalypse um, reputation. I think I can sell for it, and... Yeah, spike knuckles. I'll take the I'll take those fixers so I can get the Julie when I see her. Give me a shot. So now that we have dealed with the drug dealer in this side of town, Jacob. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? I took care of that dealer. Now you, now it's time for you to clean up. What? I need a fix now. I want to help you get well, Jacob. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of Fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. Holy shit, ten things of Fixer? Yeah, about that. 
Then we could use science or speed. Science basically, a combination of fixer, psycho, and buff out would do it in one shot. I'm not going to waste the capsule because I don't know if you do have to buy it in that case. If so, no. I'm sure future me will probably throw it up on the screen right about now. Uh, so, you know what? Let's hold an intervention for this guy. Jacob, be strong. You need the support of your friends that get you through this. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. Well, that deals with him. Now, as we make our way to the other guy, because he's on the other side of Freeside over by where the Silver Rush is, I might as well come clean as to what's been going on, why this has been taking so long to come out. This is actually try number three for this series, because, well, not the series, the video itself. Basically, what happened the first time was everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Ba the video was all glitched out, the audio and the video desynced from each other, and also my commentary was kind of at a very low quality, so I decided to just scrap the initial recording altogether because I knew there was no way to salvage it. So the, so the second time around, I decided to do it and everything kept freezing on me, so I had to clean up my cache a little bit so that I could, you know, run it without things stuttering all over the place and making this look like a flash. PowerPoint. So hopefully third time's a charge. Cross my fingers. Please. Eh, but who knows. But anyways, right over here. Hello, Bill. Come on, man, I'm dying here. Mm, well, you won't be seeing Dixon anymore. What the hell? Why? I need alcohol, man. I'm gonna die if I don't get a drink. You need to kick this habit, and I can help you. The only way you can help me now is a load of detox chems. What do you need? At least a couple of doses of Fixer, a bottle of whiskey, and Radaway. I can take doses of Fixer and Radaway to gradually flush my system over time while drinking decreasing shots of diluted whiskey. This shit better be worth it, man. How does Radaway get rid of alcohol? Isn't that supposed to just get rid of radiation? Yeah, whatever. Um, regulating decreasing doses of booze with a couple shots of fixers should do it. I, again, I do not want to waste the caps if that's the case. Even if I have it on me, I really don't want to waste it because I can just sell all that stuff for more caps. Bill, Julie, and the rest of your friends miss you. They need your help. We need well, to hold Julie, this intervention, I really man. Things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. Yeah, just sleep off the hangover, buddy. You'll feel a whole lot better. Not really. You're gonna have a terrible time. Julie, I got some splaining to do, and by that I mean I finally got your guys off their habits. Hey, good to see you. I helped with the addiction problems you mentioned. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. You said you could spare some supplies? Sure. Would you like a stim pack, fixer, or rataway? Right hmm. Well, I could go for a level up. 
All right, well, I have no need for the fixer because, again, I don't use chems, but I think I can sell some back to you. Radaway, right where we're going to be going in a little bit, it will be helpful to get a few more things of Radaway, right so I may, like, stock up on it a bit in between parts. But for now, I think I'll go with a stim pack. I can always use the health. You'll need to wait another 24 hours for us to get more made. We need everything else we currently have. All right. Well, I have some medical supplies to drop off. I have some fixer. Uh, two p two Thanks. things to fix her. Anything else? No, I do not. I'll take that full already apocalypse fame. And is there anything else? It uh, doesn't look like it. Actually, do you have anything I can buy before I head off to the strip? Besides food. Here for water, right away. Okay, so you do sell right away for 20 caps. And stim packs for 75 caps. And a super stim pack. Holy shit. Alright, well, nothing I need right now, so let's make our way to the strip after we get liked by the followers of the apocalypse and also finish up the level up. I'm definitely gonna, you know what, I'm gonna put speech up to 70 um, so that we can get uh, Arcade, who's here in the fort, relatively soon. I think it was 75 I need to get to him. We'll go talk to him as soon as we're done with this. Lockpick, eh. I'll put 5 in the gun so I can be a bit more steady with my aiming. And three to go. And we'll put in repair. Give it a nice even 50. Arcade, where the hell are you, buddy? I don't know where you... There you are. Hello again. Still in one piece, I see. Um... Like I said before, not all followers are good with people. I'm fine doing research back here. Even if it is a bit boring. And pointless. And a complete waste of time. Don't mind me. I'm just voicing my thoughts so they don't burrow out of my skull in a fit of abject despondency. Uh, was that English? All right, well, why don't you no come with me? Intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Yeah, it's 75, all right. Well, I know what I'm going to put five into next time I get a level up, which, knowing my luck, will probably finish right after we do this quest. So I might as well uh, make an open an announcement for, well, not really an announcement, more of a question to the masses who do watch my videos of what you'd like to see me do for the next couple of parts. Would you like me to focus a bit more on side quests, even though, you know, I went through a gauntlet side quest that was free side, but mainly go through the wasteland, maybe do some NCR missions and mainly, like, explore a bit some of the areas, like, map. Like, there's this whole area up here, even though it's a bit high level, but then again, we'll probably be going up to that quadrant a little later. There's also over here, there's down here, there's still a bit in this area, and also over here that I haven't visited, even though we passed through the area. Over here, we're going to be actually visiting in a, quite a bit, but not too far away. So, would you like me to see me to do some more side quests for a couple of videos ahead or would you like me to continue with the quote-unquote main story of the game I'll leave it up to you in the comments so if you have any idea of what you'd like me to do then feel free to just like put in the comments And thus, we are almost to the strip. I can feel it. And I hope this does not get hit by a copyright claim because of the fact that the Kings love their music. I don't know if the cover the music in the Fallout series has been copyrighted. I'm knowing knowing the world that it is today, it is, but I guess for now we're just gonna have to, you know, deal with it. I still dressed up in my king stud, that's Eh, if I'm going into free side, I'm going into free side with style. Well, not free side, the strip. I'm in free side. I think I've gotten free side on the mind ever since, you know, I've taken upon myself to tangle with the gauntlet that is this place. But no more! Hello, strip! Oh, 
You know, I don't know if this is like. Oh, hi, Victor. Welcome to New Vegas. Oh, what are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. You mean the place that's literally just 10 feet to my left? Uh, why is a robot passing on his invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House who made secure trunks like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dog. He'll be waiting. Alright, well, I'll be sure to get to the Lucky 38 after I pick up my package I need to deliver to him. Now, before we go into anything that has to do with the strips, and basically we need to go to one of the casinos here... If, yeah, okay, the quest has been activated. I want to talk to... Not you. You. Because here, we're going to learn about a concept, or well, a mechanic that has to do with the casinos. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. You sound very familiar. All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Oh, really? Easy to hide weapons? Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Now, if I had 50 sneak, I'm pretty sure I he'll sell you, like, much higher weapons. Like, I think if you get a 50 sneak, you can get, like, a submachine gun to pass through the checks. But basically what he's saying is every time you walk into a casino, the guards will pat you down and they'll take most, if not all, your weapons. There are actually a few holdout weapons that you can bring in that they won't notice and where we're going we're gonna need some firepower why would I need to hide a weapon on me simple you can't bring guns into the casino that's why they'll strip you to your fists sure they say you get it all back when you leave me I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table all right well let's see what you have look at these beauties. all right so we got some brass knuckles a knife, woohoo, Silence 22 pistol, already have one, so there's no reason to buy it. Spike Knuckles, I sold that, so there's no reason to get another one. A straight razor, and two switchblades. And some ammo, I guess, if I need it. You know what, I'll take some hollow point, because where we're going, I think we're gonna need it. Is there anything I can sell to you? No. Uh, Legion armor, combat armor, I'm not selling that combat armor, because, you know, combat armor. Doctor's bag. Don't really see it. Future weapons today. And I'll sell this. So let's go. It's time to settle a score and to collect our due. Because one weaselly little bastard who shot me in the head at the beginning of this cavalcade of madness has decided to run all the way to the fanciness that is the strip and you know, I actually never noticed the hotel back there. It actually looks kind of cool. I don't know why. Why am I saying that the hotel is cool? Now that, that actually looks pretty cool because it's like ultra fancy. I'm sure that's probably a hotel that's actually in Vegas. I'm sure Future Me is probably going to throw it up of what the Ultra Lux is supposed to be based off of. But whatever. I'm here on a mission. And that mission is to kill. And to kill is one bastard who is no longer a friend of mine. Let's see what I did there. What the? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, God. Boone! Eddie! Something's wrong! I'm frozen in place! I think they put flypaper on their welcome mats. Help me! Help me! I'll be right back. <laughs> Benny, your flypaper hey, welcome hey, mat traps are not going to stop me from know. putting a bullet in your head like you put one in mine. Over any weapons you might be carrying. Sure, here you go. I have some business I need to do with, deal with here. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Wait a second. I just gave them all my weapons. I'll be right back.
<laughs> All my <laughs> weapons. Right, sure, here you go. I'm not a complete and total idiot Smooth most of the time. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make uh, you where'd you take my weapons? Relax, baby, the safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious. Yeah, it seems smart. Put deadly firearms next to money. Where it could be easily used to steal it all. That's yeah, smart. Alright. Well, good to know. You there! You look somewhat important. Mostly because you don't have a generic character's name above you. Well, and below you, not above you. Hey there, pal. Welcome to the tops. And what can I do for you today? Uh, I'm here to kill your boss. Uh, who are you? Ain't been on the strip long, have you, pal? Name's Swank. This is really? my joint. I thought Benny ran this place. Benny oversees the business, sure, but I run the tops day to day. I'm his right hand guy. Oh, really? I'm I'm the Grim Reaper. Nice to meet you. I'm looking to make a few extra caps. Got any jobs that he's done? You might have a jaw at Tommy Terrini up in the Aces. He's always looking for talent. All right, else. that's good to know. Hmm, I think there's something you need to know about Benny Boy. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead oh, I plan of yapping to. me? I don't think you're gonna like what... It seems Benny's been making his own play. Huh? What are you talking about? Benny tried to kill me and steal a platinum chip I was hired to deliver. That doesn't... Why would he pull a stunt like that? Got Why, else yes, indeed. He tried to make it look like it was an accident. Just a traveler killed and robbed in the wasteland. He's trying to pull a fast one on the big man. Crazy bastard. You got any more? Well, I got some more evidence to show he tried to kill me. I found some cigarettes both by my grave he buried me in. Huh. Well, yeah, okay, these are Benny's brand, and they ain't too common. You got anything uh, else? Well, how about his lighter found in Boulder City? He dropped it when he killed his partners. Or, well, tried to get his partners killed, to be honest. Yeah, that looks like Benny's lighter, all right. Still, not exactly a ton of proof. Got oh, that's else? it. What do you think? Jesus, kid, I think we got a real problem on our hands. Can't believe Benny's a no-good stinking punk trying to play house like that. Tell you what, I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key, it's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors, can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. We don't have time for that. We need to take him out right now. Take him out? Jesus. Okay, well, if you think that's the best way to deal with this, I'll send him up to his room. You can ambush And don't worry about the rest of the chairman. I'll keep him from getting involved. Uh, You'll still not yet. You know what? I think I want to take care of this myself. Just wanted to give you the rundown of what Benny's been doing behind your back. Got my handy firearm. Let's do this. Because right across the casino floor, check it out. You wouldn't. I'd recognize that badly looking suit anywhere. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves like smooth little babies. Hmm, seems to like you need to work on your marksmanship. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick skulled? Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night. No one right. even die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere it's more private like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Hmm. Well, what did you have in mind? To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Two, two, two conditions, though. Lose the bodyguards, and we go, both go to my suite now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. <laughs> Don't get too close. Shut up. Oh, Benny boy. You just signed your death warrant. I've been looking forward to this ever since I crawled out of that grave in good springs and totally wasn't dug out by a robot. 
It sounds more badass if I crawled out of my own grave. So I'm going to stick with that story. Pass it on through Wasteland Legends. Hmm. Just the insurance policy. All right, Benny boy, let's talk. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? A Securitron dug me up, and the doc from Good Springs did the rest. House was on to me from word go. I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Uh, looks. Oh, uh, guess what? You left quite a trail. Look at me. A big leaguer, so I claim, making all the mistakes of an original loser. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? Whichever way the wind carries, it will carry a bullet into your skull. Alright, well, first, I got questions. A bunch of them. You got questions, I got answers. First things first, tell me about this platinum chip. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds. In, in English? It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer I found. Must require hmm, special interesting. hardware. Well, what does it do exactly? It has something to do with the Securitrons. I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. Hmm. Well, the fact that you said heft in a sentence makes me want to kill you even more. Oh, well, the chip belongs to me. Hand it over. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me. The last time I checked, the dead don't have a need for a sweet platinum one. chips. But the chip sticks with me. What's your offer? You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, Dig. With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? Uh. Interesting, interesting. Oh, what about the factions gunning for Vegas? Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you soon. Alright, well, tell me about Mr. House, the man who employed me. What's his story? A good cat to swing with, or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. Well, what makes the chairman so special? We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. Alright, well, tell me about the Amuertas. We do have business to deal with them for Mick and Ralph, if you remember right back when we started our little adventure in Freeside. A tribe of Finks. Every single one of them is a degenerate. Mark my words, they're playing an angle. How do I know? They always are. Alright, well tell me about the White Glove Society. Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure, that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. Hmm. Alright, well what's your take on the NCR? A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too. And smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House and a lot afraid of Caesar. If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. 
Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. And last but not least, let's talk about the Legion. Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're going to try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. Interesting. All right. Well, help me understand this scheme of yours. Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. What makes you think you can succeed? Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's, it's coming together. And you're willing to commit murder to make this happen? Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you is rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. The ruthlessness of others is no excuse. It was a time I would have agreed with you, but this, it's too big. It affects too many people. I can't get hung up on those details. Mm. Well... You're stinking up my sweet Benny. Scram, we'll talk later. Baby, you're the boss. All you gotta do is whistle. In the meantime, enjoy the high life. Room service is on me. I'll send up a bottle of the good stuff. Ta -ta. I got a lot of thinking to do, Benny. I, I really put deep thought into your words. And I've come to a conclusion. Here. Let me show you my counteroffer. Come on. Boon, don't you dare take this kill. I've been waiting ages for this. You see, Benny boy, what you need to know is that when you aim to kill someone, make sure the shot actually kills them. Ah, oh, damn it. Sad thing is, uh, last time I tried to pull this off, I shot him in the head and all of a sudden his leg popped off. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, I guess that's one way to make up for that. And I'm pretty sure we just made sure he's dead. So we'll take those 9mm rounds, we'll take his suit, we'll take his key, we'll take the platinum chip, and we'll take the presidential suite key. Benny boy, you shouldn't have met- holy shit, I actually blew his leg off as well. You shouldn't have messed with me, buddy. Because now you're dead. And also in your skivvies. And why did I use skivvies? I'm not British. Eh, whatever. Now... If you didn't have any holdout weapons to kill Benny with, you could have, well, done it the old-fashioned way and just beat the ever-living hell out of him. Another way to do it is you can use the pool cube right here. I think there's a knife that you can get in this room, but I'm not sure. You know what, let's turn this noise off so I don't get hit by anything. But if you do have an average lockpick, which was 50, then you can open up this wall safe here, and inside, you will receive... Da, 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 da. 10, 60 10 millimeter rounds, a 10 millimeter submachine gun, four 4D millimeter grenades, 241 bottle caps, a grenade rifle, and a power fist. So, this is the game's way of saying, hey, want to do some damage? Here you go. Nice little conference area. Eh, I kind of like it, even though it's kind of pointless. Now, the thing was about what Benny was saying, he was at, about offering you, you know, jobs to work for him if you decided to turn your back on all the other factions in the game. That was actually supposed to be input content, but I guess they cut it for time, or they didn't know what to do with it. Because I'll go over it in the alternates and extras for this, but let's just say 
Yeah, he's a Weasley bastard, and there's no point in siding with him. Got some jet. That's nice. And we're actually explored these rooms before. Empty suitcase, empty this, empty that. Work with me, damn it. Free war book, I'll take that because those are actually somewhat useful. Anything here? Desk, empty. I'll take the pre war books because, again, they're somewhat useful. Take you, take you, take you, and take you. And you as well. Anything good to eat? Cabinet. Ooh, hey, there's an apple. I'm gonna put on Benny to make him even look even more like an asshole. Atomic cocktail, nice. Beer, vodka, wine, whiskey. Is there any whiskey? Atomic cocktail, beer, scotch, vodka, whiskey, wine. There we go. All things I can sell. Ooh, I actually didn't even know this was here. Tales of Chivalry. I think that's for melee weapons. So if I need anything to pass a melee check, which I don't think there is, then, well, there, it's that there. <laughs> Please learn to speak, boy. It's there for me. So, that's pretty much it. We've, well, gotten our vengeance up on Benny, so I think this is about as good a time as any to end things off here. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, it, this loading screen will stop. Thank you very much. We are going to head off to the Lucky 38 and talk to Mr. House to see what he wanted. After searching Benny's room for whatever secrets he is hidden up there. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Later. We're the definition of cool, baby. Lots of things to cover in this alternate and extras, not only because of Ring Ding Ding, but for the majority of Freeside missions I wanted to cover in one big part. So let's get started. First thing I want to cover is the guard duty segment in Birds of a Feather, particularly when you stop the guy carrying C4 and what happens if you let him inside. Well... Come a long way. I'm supposed to pat everyone down. Didn't you hear that part of my instructions? Oh shit. Oh shit. This in all aspect is a horrible idea to do because not only do you let the Van Graffs in the building die, all the energy weapons you can steal from them get destroyed in the process. So best to just deal with the guy up front and not let him go inside. Guy must have had some kind of explosive on him. Set off all the ordnance in this place at once. Congratulations, rookie. You just cost me my job. Don't think I don't appreciate it. Aha! Now, I won't be covering the quest in the main LP because of its requirement to do so, but I might as well show off what the quest has you do from my cutoff point. The next task the Van Graffs want you to do is recruit Cass from back in the Mojave outpost and bring her to them so they can talk. So once you do, they just outright kill her. Now, if you have the Terrifying Presence perk, you can talk to them and get out of the dialogue without sacrificing her or fighting your way out, but it doesn't skip that segment in the quest process, so you got to kill Cass. After that, talk to Gloria and it will be time to begin the final part of the quest, which takes place in an unmarked warehouse, where you find out that the buyers you've been running guns for have been the Legion. But then it turns out that it was all a big double cross for the NCR, so a gunfight will break out, and basically you gotta wipe out the Legion. Just watch where you're aiming at or you'll have everyone gunning for you instead. Once that's done, Birds of Feather is completely finished. Next thing is the King's Favor. He has th four favors he can give you that one you can't use until later, but I might as well let you see what the other, each favor gives you. Favor 1 lets you join the gang, which, to be honest, is kind of lackluster. All it does is get you a king's jacket and free haircuts at their hangout. Woohoo. Favor 2 will net you 1,000 caps, so if you're a little short or you want a few extra caps, well, there you go. 
Favorite 3 is best used if you have a low science speech or barter character, or you don't have the 2000 caps for the strip credit check. It will basically be a free pass that you give to Ralph at Mega Ralph's, which will allow you to get past the strip gate and into New Vegas. Last thing is Ring Ding Ding, and that's what happens if you decide to side with Benny and spare him. Now you might be wondering what happens, well... Instead of letting you help him take over New Vegas, the little weasel just sends a group of his goons up to kill you, which you can easily take care of if you have enough lockpick for the wall safe. Take care of the goons, head back to his bedroom where you will find out that Benny fled the strip and out into the wasteland. You later find out he was captured by the Legion as being held at the fort, aka the Legion HQ, but if you want to deal with him, you gotta gain favor with Caesar via a quest. Once the quest is finished, head back and you will be given four choices to deal with Benny. Choice 1, and probably the worst choice you can do, is you can fight or sneak your way out of if you have a stealth boy. However, this aggroes everyone in the fort and most, my, most likely will get you or Benny killed. And the reward isn't even that good at all, it just despawns him from the game. Choice two is, well, just kill him out right there, letting you end him without any resistance. Nah, I'd rather see it coming. Do it, baby. Make it clean. Choice three is to crucify Benny. He will be kept alive, but not else you can do with him aside from gloating from his, at his hanging body. You sick, vindictive fuck! Happy now, you twisted bum? Well, I ain't gonna give you the satisfaction. Choice 4, and personally the most fun choice, is a one-on-one -on -one duel with him, letting you take him on in a fair fight. Back, baby. Not to say I'm gonna make it easy for you. And that pretty much settles it. That's all the alternate ways you can do the free side quests and the alternate way of dealing with the slimy little weasel Benny. Hope you all enjoyed this part and I will see you all in the next one.